now they're slightly disorganized, so they take the three anyway. Chamberlain sticks his head up all the it's time over. in the world. This is a second opportunity for this man, Chamberlain. Over. And again, he's more than happy, straight off the boot. To be a successful kicker, um, it takes a lot of hours, a lot of hard work, a lot of failed attempts, but most important, just keep on practicing. My process to goal kicking, um, so normally I place the seam of the rugby ball towards my target. Um, I take five steps back on a 45 degree angle and then just three simple words that goes to my mind before I hit the ball. Um, just tempo, head down and follow through. It's very similar to a, to a kickoff. Um, only difference is with the kickoff, you tend to um, wait a bit longer before striking the ball. Um, but yeah, drop goal, you strike it as soon as it bounces, just to get a bit more distance and not more height. So the difference for me between a normal kicker and a world-class kicker um, is someone that masters his own technique, um, breaks everything down to the smallest margins and just repeating that whole process over and over again until he masters it. Like an example, like Dan Carter, Johnny Wilkinson.